today with Alan Halcon. Thank you for joining me, Alan. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Good, Good. to see you again. And Alan is with Outdoor Self-Reliance and Dirt Time. And uh, we're going to begin by Alan's early years. How did you learn about a lot of these outdoor skills? Yeah, well, my dad was an avid outdoorsman, loved to camp, hunt, and fish. But I would say that a good portion of my survival knowledge started right when I was about 12 years old. My mom is from Spain, and we would spend summers out there. And I remember right around 12 when I really started to develop this keen interest in it. And my grandmother lived in a small Pueblo. Uh, her home was only separated by a dirt road, which on the backside of that was the river. Okay. And so every day I would spend my day in the river with the neighborhood kids or the Pueblo boys and all that. My mom would would get extremely irritated I would hang around with those boys didn't understand why but I didn't care I wanted to play she didn't want to hang around with the neighborhood boys well she didn't want me hanging around with the neighborhood boys I gang members not gang members uh, but I'll get to that anyway <laughs> hanging around with them what we what I learned was how to poison fish with plants okay wild crafting certain certain plants and all that how to fish by hand underneath the crevices what they call trout tickling and a very interesting technique for catching birds which we don't see here in the United States but in many parts of Europe it's illegal uh, we would use bird lime okay think of a rat glue trap just a viscous sticky substance and we would take that substance not the rat glue stuff just something else made from the holly tree okay. and we you would make it yourself oh we'd make it and yeah. we would put it on these sticks and we would set up all these twigs and all that with the sticky substance on on bushes and all that or by the water's edge and when the bird came and landed to perch it oh, stick. Oh, you didn't need a snare. It just stuck. There. It just stuck like and glue. Then you had like, little birds for and dinner. we had blue uh, birds. Wow. It was like twenty wow. or thirty birds we can get at a at a time, and it was a bird line. Later on in life, I found out why it is that my mom did not want me hanging around with them. Okay. She called these boys gitanos. Gitanos. And, and that's gypsies. Gypsies. And I'm a gypsy gypsies. too. Okay. They were gypsies. So I yeah, like I, I got a good dosing of survival skills from gypsies. Interesting, interesting. So how did we meet? It was like 20 years ago oh, well, in one yeah. of our classes. Yeah, it was in one of your classes. In, in one of my classes. And I remember you started with the bow drill mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this man became obsessed with the hand drill, tell us about it. Yeah, I, I, that that became my life there for a couple of years, and it was I, like I think, I think you lost one relationship in the process. I don't know that I lost a relationship, <laughs> but I'm not exactly sure that it didn't affect it either. Okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was a uh, I was obsessed with it. Uh, the hand drill, it was. Uh, and and fun I think times. I think it must have been uh, years that you were always doing this. In this book, my shameless plug, I uh, I mentioned Alan's record of uh, two seconds. He eventually got a call with the hand drill in two seconds, so that actually took you not two seconds, but five years, right? Five years and two seconds. Five years and two seconds, all right, to get the call. I mean, that is a remarkable feat. It takes me over over that uh, that much time to just get warmed up. Uh, so eventually we began to collaborate with Wilderness Way magazine, mm -hmm. which is now defunct, but Alan was one of the editors writing stories, shamelessly putting himself on the cover at least one time, right? And I think Dude did that as well, and uh, I, I was on the cover yeah. too, to be fair. And um, we've worked together over the years in Dirt Time, that's DirtTime.com, myself, Alan, and uh, uh, Dude McLean. Tell us about the next Dirt Time event. Next Dirt Time event, well, you know, as you know, Christopher, we're excited. We finally found what we can call home. We have 800 acres of private property where we can actually do things that we would never be able to do outside of that property Such zone. Such as? Um, we can... The we can trap. Trapping, we, yeah. we can do a lot of the trapping only because it's a working orchard, and the the landowner has asked us to help him because it's destroying his agriculture. So to to us, trapping is is his rodent reduction. It it really is. Yeah, it's yeah. really his rodent re uh, um, reduction. Yeah. And we take that as an opportunity for teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So go to dirttime.com and you can see the schedule and the forum where people share these ideas. So Alan is doing his classes through Outdoor Self-Reliance. Tell us about some of the classes you're doing. Oh, yeah, Outdoor Self-Reliance. Well, I've done a lot of them. I like, I love doing land navigation. That's a really popular one. I do first aid, fire making. I do Dutch oven, cooking, plant walks, knife sharpening, knot tying. I do a lot of the outdoorsy type stuff. And, and, and I'd have to say you use Mora knives in your classes? Mora is <clears> all <throat> I will recommend. Okay, well, we agree on most things. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Absolutely. Thanks All for right. having me, buddy. All right.